Hello. In the third video of the Dysoft Oxygen Sensor Series, I'm going to be talking about how to test your oxygen sensors. What you want to do is you want to get the oxygen sensor testing kit. This allows you to precisely measure how your oxygen sensors behave at different pressures. What you want to do is you want to basically transform your head into a tiny pressure chamber. So you will seal all the holes. This goes in first. Then you take the top plate, put it over. Then you want to take the exhaust valve, press it in firmly. Then you want to flip this over and take the whole bottom part. The bottom part consists of a steel plate, a plastic lid, and a screw. So you take the plastic lid, put it in. Then you take the screw with the lid and you put it through. This screws into the exhaust valve in the top, and you just want to screw this in. Afterwards, you want to tighten it so the whole thing is airtight. After you've done that, flip it around again and you can connect your computer like so. Now what you want to do is you want to take your oxygen and you want to screw it on on to the oxygen intake. So now you go to the main menu, go to applications, O2 cell test, and you open the release valve. Now what you're doing, you flush it with oxygen. So now it automatically cycles five times through high pressure, it tells you when to open and when to close the release valve. So just follow along and you'll be done in no time. So right now, what this does, it adds 0.5 bars every time and then it measures the potential on every single oxygen cell. So it will know how the cell behaves at different pressures and it can create a graph through this, meaning you will have the difference or the deviation from normal at different pressures. So this is the graphs of your sensors and you can see that none deviates too much. If one would be deviating, it would look a bit like this. It would plateau at one point because it would not be able to uh, reach the high, high potentials at higher oxygen pressures. So right now, this, these are the values of millivolts measure it at different pressures. So now you've done your oxygen sensor tests and you're finished. The last thing you want to do is you just want to release the pressure inside and you're done.